Section 2, Quick Debugging of Code. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at searching using the watch, autos, and local windows during a debugging session. When searching in the watch, autos, and local windows, each window is going to have a search box for finding relevant items. You can specify a custom object depth, whether you're looking for shallow or deep searches, and search execution is performed relative to the active window. For the purpose of this exercise, we're going to be using the Smart Hotels 360 sample applications that were demoed during Microsoft Connect in 2017. Let's jump right into an active debugging session and do some searching in the locals, autos, and watch windows. Okay, let's get started with debugging session. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the smarthotels.services.all solution. This is going to contain all the backend services for the Smart Hotels 360 application. And once this finishes loading, we're going to go through and we're going to take a look at the hotels service, specifically the city's controller. This will be a nice, easy way to test out some of the search capabilities within the autos and watch and locals windows. So as you can see here, we already have the cities-controller.cs file open. And what I'd like to do is set a breakpoint right here at the return statement. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and debug start new instance. What this will do is open up the endpoint for that specific service, and it's going to display the Swagger endpoint data so that you can test out specific API calls. As you can see, the different APIs are exposed here, and you can test out different URLs based on what you'd like to experiment with. As we said, we're going to look at the Cities API, so let's go ahead and click on the getter for that, and we're going to leave the value blank for now. Let's go ahead and try it out. Now you can see here that it hit the breakpoint, and it's returning a collection of city results, four specifically, that you can drill into and look at from here. However, you can also use the locals window here, as well as the search depth, to specify the depth at which you'd like to search for a specific variable. I'm going to set this at six, and let's browse for something that's going to pull up a few things, action. Now you can see about three levels in, we've got action descriptor. But if we click that arrow and start to drill in further, you can see how it's drilling down into the actual object model, pulling things back like action name. As we continue to click through here, you'll see that it's starting to drill into areas that are even further into the stack. And for the purposes of this particular example, I don't know that we need to go that deep. Three may actually be more appropriate. Let's say, for example, that we want to set a watch on this, which is the specific instance of the city's controller. You can see here that we also have the option to set our search depth, and we can search through specific variables in this object model as well, still pulling back the action context, action descriptor, and, and so on and so forth. If we decided to look for HTTP, we can start to drill through here looking at the context, and it will also pull back a lot of the internal items here, authentication, items, request, response. So you can see how this gives you the ability to quickly traverse through an object model and find values that you're looking for.